So in previous videos, we've been transforming individual points or a series of points. But what about if we wanted to take, say, a straight line and transform that straight line, stretch it and move it around? What if we wanted to take a circle and transform a full circle or transform a quadratic or any other relation? Relation that we can do, definitely. Let's give it a crack. Find the equation of the image of the line y equals 2x plus 3 after a reflection in the x-axis followed by a dilation of factor 2 from the y-axis. Okay, first of all, I'm going to do it uh, not using matrices, just using my big old brain because it's a line and I can handle it. Um, this is an x and y axis. y equals 2x plus 3 looks a little something like 1, 2, 3, a y-intercept of 3, and a gradient of um, 2. That might be, yeah, that's probably about right. Okay, what happens after a reflection in the x-axis? So I take my line and I reflect it in the x-axis, and it should, so I'm flipping it around that point. And so it should end up looking like that. That's a pretty good reflection in the x-axis. Uh, a dilation of factor 2 from the y-axis. So that means from the y-axis it's getting stretched around that point here. So it's still going to pass through the y-axis at that point, but it sort of, this point moves over here, this point, let's use these points. This point's going to be twice as far as it was before. This point's going to be twice as far as it was before. There you go. Uh, now, I could come up with the equation of that line just, I think, as well, but let's use matrices now to figure out how to do that properly. Now, in this case, there's two transformation matrices, so we're going to need those in there, um, but we need to make sure that the second transformation comes first. Okay, so I'll keep this little um, image there. So, uh, dilation of factor 2 from the y-axis. So to do that, it's got to be a matrix that looks like this, multiplying it by uh, a reflection in the x-axis. So to do that, I need something like uh, 0, negative 1. And my original points, I'll just call them x and y. Okay, so... I can multiply these together and then multiply them by this and I should get something. Let's see what happens next. So this one here is my two transformation matrices multiplied together to give me a single transformation matrix or a composition of transformations. And here we have our x, y. And we still have whatever image we're going to end up with there. Now I can multiply through that as well. Uh, 2x times 0y, which is just 2x. Um, 0x times negative 1y, which is negative 1. All right, that looks pretty good at the moment. So what am I saying? Uh, I'm saying that um, the image of x is equal to 2x, and the image of y is equal to negative y. Let's just write those two down. The image of x is equal to 2x, and the image of y is equal to negative y. Now, if I rearrange that a little bit to make x a subject, I can say that x is equal to the image of x divided by 2. And I can say that y is equal to, multiply both by negative 1, uh, y is equal to uh, negative the image of y. Now, I can now substitute that in for x, and I can now substitute that in for y. So I can say that um, negative y dash equals uh, 2 times x dash on 2 uh, plus 3. Um, now that's a bit weird to have that negative y in there, so I'll multiply everything by negative 1. And I'll tidy that bit up while I'm at it. Y dash is equal to negative x dash 
negative 3. Now I don't really need those dashes in there anymore because I'm just being asked to find the equation of the image. So I should just finish this up by saying equation of image is y equals negative x minus 3. And going back to the very beginning, y equals 2x plus 3 looked like this. If we reflect it in the x-axis and dilate it by a factor of 2 from the y-axis, what we get is something that passes through negative 3 and is half as steep in the negative direction. Which is about what I drew before, I think. Okay, uh, that is transforming relations using matrices. We're going to do a couple more in a future video, so hang tight. Copy it down.